everyone, comic reviewer here, this time reviewing on Tom and Jerry Back to Oz. Now, as you know, Tom and Jerry Back to Oz is a 2016 fantasy comedy film and meant to be a direct-to-video sequel to Tom and Jerry and the Wizard of Oz that I did cover three years ago back in 2019. So, I would say Back to Oz is more of the creators of Tom and Jerry making their own continuation from The Wizard of Oz after five or six years after doing the first one. And the premise of the film is meant to take place literally after the events of the first film. We kind of see how Tom and Jerry and Dorothy have to kind of keep Oz and that a secret and we do see how Uncle Henry and Aunt M don't really believe her and so do the staff hands. So we kind of do see how because of the tornado we do kind of see how Dorothy's aunt and uncle are forced to kind of sell their animals to this kind of sleazy kind of like Texas businessmen of some sort. And we kind of see how, how yeah, everyone tries to pitch in to, to sort of help the business and the farm. So we kind of see how Dorothy is once again whisked back to Oz by the Scarecrow, Tin Man and Cowardly Lion into dealing with the Nun King. And this is where I feel is that the film tries to be something new, but at the same time, tries to revert everything back to the status quo. I think what I give Disney credit is when they did their film Return to Oz, they actually did their own ideas and used elements from the other books. I think personally, if I was to make the film, I would have used Mombi as the main villain, working with the Gnome King, promising each other one thing from the other, and you could have even have had TikTok, the pumpkin like one, and the hen to work together to help Dorothy overcome her newer problems. This would have worked. I think having my opinion, Jason Alexander voicing the Gnome King does sort of work. He kind of has this more over-the-top villain personality about him. And I kind of think that makes sense. Like, you know what he's trying to be. He's trying to be an over-the-top villain, and that's the point of him. And I kind of feel, yeah, you can tell that the creators do try to use elements from other past stories for their characters. Like having one of the characters, James or Inkert voicing a character called Jinnabug, who's maybe a version of a kind of ma masked. And I know they take one of the characters from one of the previous Wizard of Oz books, Hungry Tiger, being voiced by Andrea Martin, who also did voice work in Earthworm Jim, also Rugrats, and Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. I think as that actress you know you've seen in stuff, that you know who she's been in. I kind of feel with Wizard of Oz there is a bit of a message with Dorothy about trying to prove to people that you can be responsible, but at the same time you just need to wait until the right time to show it. I think there was intentions to do an actual good sequel to Wizard of Oz, but I think you can tell Tom and Jerry do separate themselves from the first film, but at the same time, do try to fix itself up a little bit. And I think, yeah, it does try to throw back in old references, saying, hey, remember when Tom and Jerry walked with the, with the other three during the whole Lillibrick Road scene? Hey, do you remember when we had the Wicked Witch of the West? We have the stock footage. I think the thing is, we've already seen the adventure before. I think what I give the Wizard of Oz books 
as well as Disney's film Return of Oz credit, it was just going with a newer, fresher story with something that didn't really need to be made. So I think to me, Back to Oz is like a bargain basement film. It tries to be good, but definitely fixes itself halfway through. So I think the film deserves a thumbs in the middle. It's slightly better, but needs some a bit more improvements. So, Comic Viewer here, signing out.